and welcome aboard the Disney Dream, part of the Disney Cruise Line. This is my first Disney Cruise, and we got to do a room tour, right? Or cabin tour, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we are in a uh, deluxe stateroom, uh, ocean view with veranda is the room type, I believe. I hope I remembered correctly. And we've got our, we've got our key mounted over here so we can power everything on. Uh, temperature control with the DCL logo here. And we're going to check it out. It's not, obviously, it's the cruise line, so things are uh, smaller than most Disney Resort hotel rooms. Uh, well, it might not be the longest room tour we've ever done, but uh, it, it might be one of the more interesting. So let's let's do it. Let's open this closet. Oh, blurry life jackets. That's exciting. The orange. Doesn't like the orange. Uh, there are our life jackets, because we're, you know, on a boat. And then uh, we're gonna pan down here. Don't have as much room as I usually have. <laughs> the wall is right behind me, so I'm gonna try to show you everything that's here. Got some storage space down here, uh, our safe. There's a nice embroidered cruise line laundry bag there. Uh, good amount of space to hang stuff. If you're a larger person like me, um, you're gonna have some moments where you're a little, maybe a little claustrophobic, but I think you'll be all right. Oh, no light in this one, okay. Uh, more storage space up there, more. Uh, looks pretty much identical. We have the the ladder, which I think is for emergencies. Uh, we have lots of cubbies here. So a good amount of, good amount of storage space uh, here. Two shelves up here above uh, what would typically be a coffee station in other rooms. We have a, it's a drink station here though. Uh, there, we have some cups there. And we've got uh, some nice big drawers. We've got three of those here. And let's check out, uh, let's check out the, the facilities, the bathroom. First door here. Caution, watch your step because it is, there's a nice little elevation change there. Well, before we step in, let me film from here so you can actually see the whole room. Uh, it's not too small. I think it's it's comfortable enough. I love the towels. Again, this is my first cruise, so some of you have been on some of the other ships are probably like, oh, he keeps going on about these things that's on every cruise. Well, it's my first one. I like I like the, the towels. Big fan. I like the splash of color in here, the color tile. It's nice. Pleasant. Uh, it's a little, you know, it's 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 airplane lavatory e in style, but you know we're we're on a vessel. Garbage can down there. Okay, so that's the bathroom. There's a little shelf up there, which is good because uh, oh no, you you have some. We can go in here and hello everyone. Uh, we'll go look from this angle. You can see these little glass shelves we have here. There's another one up here. Sorry, the, the bags had arrived at the room, so I had to stop recording for a moment, deal with that. Uh, there are hand washing guidelines posted in here. Obviously don't throw foreign objects in the toilet and let them go out to sea. Uh, let's look at the sink. We have the H2O sea salt hand soap. Mirror and light here. Okay. Spent enough time in that tiny room. On to the next tiny room. On to the next. Here we go, next tiny room. Uh, we have a full length mirror inside this door. Watch your step again, because again, we're going, we're going up. And in here we have the shower, which I'm like 6'1", I uh, just about hit my head here. Um, you know, <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, detachable shower head. We have a tub, lots more of my, my beloved branded towels. Uh, they're not mountain amenities, but they are in big bottles that you can't take. They're glass bottles, right? Or maybe they're plastic. They might be plastic. Uh, revitalizing shampoo, the uh, conditioner, and the body wash from H2O are all here. Um, turn this way, we have uh, some washcloth, some makeup cloth. The body lotion is there, mirror light, there's the sink. I'm also very excited about the branded soap. Very excited. This is my thing. I love branded soap. 
Very, very cool. Oh, the box get wet? Oh, no. Not the box. <laughs> I'll have to ask for more. Uh, there's the sink. Tissues over there. Uh, similar setup to the one in there. Uh, the garbage can held in place there. Um, it's nice. It's pleasant. Bigger, honestly, bigger than I thought it was going to be. We should look at this. These are cool. These rope, these Mickey rope curtains. Or curtains. Uh, shower, yeah, shower curtains. And then you got the gold. The nice gold thick one. It's very cute. Very cute. Like that. Step out, close that. Uh, we have our emergency procedures here. Leave that right there. Uh, all right, so we've covered everything this far. Um, if you get joining rooms, this is where the door is. Uh, we do have actually have my parents here. They're on the other side. I threw everyone in there. It's like, everyone get away. I got to film this room. Okay, we're gonna look, see if I can find a good angle somewhere. I've got more room to show you this. This is the bed. <laughs> My significant other said, uh, this is like, it's like camping on a boat. It kinda is, they're, they're, you know, this is a more deluxe room. Uh, it is bigger than uh, a lot of other ones on the ship, but still it's, you know, you're on a boat. Space is, space is at a premium. Uh, this, uh, this lampshade is amazing. I'm going to try to spin it. Um, Disneyland. One cruise ship. Um, I am not a cruise expert, so I don't know. I'm sure these are specific ships in the fleet. Uh, we have Walt Disney World in Florida. And two cruise ships there. And we'll keep turning. Uh, then we have uh, Paris. There's Disneyland Paris with a cruise ship out in the ocean. Keep turning. Oh, it's getting hard to turn. Oh, boy. Then we have, uh, we don't have, I guess these are pre-Shanghai, right? So that's Hong Kong. I think that's Hong Kong and Japan. Yeah, these are pre-Shanghai. So yeah, I'm going to turn it back the other way. It's not to break it. That's very cute, though. Very cute. Oh, I should turn Tokyo towards me. It's my favorite. <laughs> uh, the Mickeys. The Mickeys there, too. I see, uh... See our light switch there. We have a, a alarm clock with USB ports. There's another tiny drawer here. There's some room here. It's a little damaged. Um, there's a little drawer there to use. We got this really cute bed runner that has uh, anchors and stars and the cruise logo and Mickey Mouse all on it. Uh, we have our room phone here. Same lamp again. Uh, we have this curtain, this privacy curtain. So you just unhook this and it'll come across this whole area. So that way if someone's changing and such, uh, but someone wants to be out in the balcony or enjoying the living room, they can. They can have that privacy. Um, there is different art in some of these rooms. So we're going to cut away in a few moments to the art that's in my parents' room. I think they have better art. But uh, ours is cute, though. It's it's people on an island waving to the cruise ship. Uh, there's a little garbage can there. We have a little table. We have a desk. A chair. Our little TV is here. We got more storage here, so we got some, got some space here. We've got... Ooh, a different kind of mini fridge. The Dometic. Ooh, it's tiny. We got our tiny little mini fridge. We have outlets. I don't even know what that is. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, our outlets are here. And then there's the hairdryer outlet. Uh, oh, there's also two USBs there. That's great. More storage space. Oh, this light is cute with the Mickeys on the side. I'm a sucker for Art Deco, so I love these. I love the style of everything on the ship. Lots of drawers. Oh, there's the hair dryer. Uh, styling tools. 
Tips for traveling with lithium metal and rechargeable lithium ion batteries. Yeah, these are good sized drawers. Plenty of, I mean, for, well, I guess there would, there is another bed in here. This comes out. Um, we believe they come do it with the uh, turn down service in the evening. So we'll have to show you this later, I think. I believe that's how that works. Um, Cause I don't think this, this doesn't open this sofa, right? Or does it? Maybe it does. I didn't really look into this when I booked it. As, as you guys know, there we go. As you guys know from watching these all the time, I never actually look into this. <laughs> I just like to show up and be surprised. I want us to have a little more room. I want us to have a nice view. It's my first cruise. Um, you know, so it'll be fun. So yeah, that folds down a single bed. I imagine then that's it's basically kind of... Uh, unconnected bunk beds is the way I would describe it. Um, we've seen these at the Disney hotels before. They're not bad. Obviously, put a kid on them. It's fine. I don't know. Um, a taller person's not going to do great on this. Like, I, I would probably be a little uncomfortable. There's just not a lot of width to it. But uh, if you're with kids, I mean, the kids will be fine over here. Now to put this back. <laughs> That's the fun part. I'm going to leave it for now. I know we didn't really show you the sofa though. So maybe I will put it back. Hold on, let's see. Oh, it's pretty easy. I got it. With one hand. One hand. There we go. Whoo. There we go. Whoo. Always fun to do the one hand. There's the sofa. There you go. Uh, we have some more art here. It's uh, international stamps, right? There's some USA, but there's some other. Of just uh, various Disney characters, I see we have uh, the dog catcher from Lady and the Tramp. And there's a tramp. Oh, my goodness. That has to be an inside joke, right? The tramp stamp. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, then Aristocats, I see uh, Edgar. Uh, we have Duchess. Uh, I don't know if I showed those really well. We'll get in there a little bit. Uh, Mickey in an Airplane. And we have Hercules, uh, several different colors of Hades, Ursula, and Ariel, the Little Mermaid. It's cute. I still think their art's better. Next door has better art. We'll go look at it. So, yeah. Oh, let's go. We got to go look out here. Oh, thankfully the weather passed. It was raining before. Now it's not. Curtain. Yeah, it's a pretty plain curtain. But, okay, so unlock. I think it's already been done for us. But this is what keeps it locked. So unlock that way. Lock. So that would lock. That's unlocked. And then uh, you need to keep this closed to maintain the air conditioning. I don't think I did because I see a crack. I think I left it open. I sure did. Another watch your step. There's our veranda. I'll put in some shots as we uh, go along on the cruise of uh, maybe a prettier destination than here in the Cape. But their uh, cruise line logo chairs, very cute. And uh, obviously some safety rules for the brand. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Let's see if I can give you a better view from here, maybe. I know space is just tight and it's real hard with a phone camera to give you guys a full picture of how this all looks, but yeah. All right, we're gonna get this back and I wanna actually seal it. Nope, I didn't do it that time. No. This is fun. Maybe I have to just lock it. Is it actually locked? Nope, because I am I must not be closing it all the way. I'm gonna really slam it. All right, it's slammed properly. Did that do it? Nope. Hmm. Oh, that would be probably it. Lock it all the way that way. Okay. 
I think I figured it out. I think we turn the handle all the way up, right? And then, no, it won't lock, because I, I guess I don't have it all the way. I might have a slightly defective door. Maybe it's too far over, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. I actually had it too far over, so what was happening was this. You can see the lock moving in there. Um, that was hitting, like, right there. I had it too far over. Got to be pretty precise. Got to be pretty precise with that. Uh, that's that's the room. It's very cute. We'll see how I feel after a couple days in it, but uh, it's cute. Um, I'm glad we got something a little bigger. I feel like something a little smaller. I might have been a little claustrophobic. If someone's a little worried about space on the cruise ship, I'd probably just splurge and get something slightly bigger. If this seems small to you, then... Um, it's going to be pricey to go above this. This was already a little pricey, but, uh, yes, this is a, uh, ocean view stateroom, deluxe ocean view stateroom with veranda on the Disney dream. Okay. So the turndown service has happened. We have our, our dove chocolates. It's very nice. And we have our, our, uh, towel animal. It's an elephant. How adorable. Um, I don't know what I said that ladder was for earlier, but that ladder is for this, uh, let me switch to hold on. switch to the wide angle. There you go. The ladder is for this bed that comes down from up here. I don't know how I thought you were going to get in and out of this thing, but so you see the curtain there uh, obstructs the view between all the beds, and so you have this bed up here, which will uh, sleep anyone up to two hundred and twenty pounds. So something to keep in mind. And then obviously we have the bed we opened earlier, but there it is. There's the the bed that comes out of the ceiling. Uh, for a, I mean, actually, probably plenty of adults under 220 pounds, so it's possible. But it is, it's uh, it's short. It's a short bed, so keep that in mind.